What is up guys it's the real deal welcome to the channel guys today we're going to be taking on the Disa caves and this is going to be a guide for anyone that's new to the game any beginners out there that's all stuck between levels three to five so we're you know we still got quite a long way to go but we're currently sitting at level seven so this is the team that we're rolling with we've got leo we've got oak uh, sorry leo who's like going to be doing damage Got Oak, who's a tank. Got Ravenar, who's an insane uh, energy damage dealer. Got Car Moore as well, who's also an energy uh, damage dealer as well. And we've got uh, Botmark too, who's going to be doing like who's essential for this boss because he's a multi hitter. Uh, so for the commander, we're going to be using uh, Brian Hield, and they are great for multi hitters. So that's why we're going to be using them. Uh, for the prototypes, uh, we want to change this chaos ship actually to the power word pain. So that's going to help. You can see here, that's only helping one champion. This can be helping three. So um, let's just assign that. The next one, um, ultimate ring. Uh, sorry, Ultima ring. I don't have a better option. And then uh, scholars monument. I don't have a better option for that as well. So this is what we're going to be uh, using. Let's mix that out and let's just go for it, boys. So it should be a pretty straightforward uh, fight. And what you're going to see is happen is when we get to each of one of these markers, uh, basically the boss is going to shield himself. I believe there's like, I think it's 21 on the shield at this stage. And basically you have to just blast it down as quickly as possible. Otherwise you might end up in a bit of trouble. So that's where uh, the bot mark is going to come really in handy and just peel away that shield. Yeah, so 21 on the shield, and he's literally just going to blitz through that. And let's see, how long is it going to take? I mean, with all those armors popping off, you never know, but that's like three seconds to go through all of that. And let's just click through and see what the boss has. So their passive Earth Blessing is going to reduce damage from basic attacks by 50%. So he's a tanky, tanky champion. Oh, that actually freezes. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, let's stick that on times two as well. Sorry, guys. Uh, usually I play this on my phone and not on the PC. So that's why uh, it's running a little bit slower than I'd like it to. Earth Shield. So start channeling an ultimate, grants the user an Earth Shield, which loses a stack every time they're hit by an attack. Channeling uh, is interrupted when all stacks are lost. And he becomes weakened. Okay. Mm. Not really sure what that means, to be honest. And then rock throw when there are no enemies in melee range. Okay, so it means you need to have someone that's in melee range. So he doesn't have really too much going on at the moment. But yeah, Leo's getting a little bit low. Uh, a little bit concerning, obviously. We're only 50% of the way there. Uh, but yeah, boss is down. We've taken out that shield. And now it's literally a case of just trying to finish him off as quickly as possible. Get some big, big crits there though. 15k, 10k, 15k. 25k from Leo. I mean, that is just insane. But yeah, almost there, guys. And then again, going through that pesky shield before we can uh, actually finish the boss. And there we go. So you have to do it before um, that red circle sort of touches the outside of your screen. As soon as that happens, you're in trouble. And that's it. The boss is down. Pretty good clear time. One minute, 27 seconds. Let's check out the gear on the champions. So first off, we've got Oak. And we've got him in four pieces of Begorus. So that is going to be um, the set. is going to 
well, we've got this two piece set. So we've got four pieces. So we're going to get 30% extra HP. And basically, we want anything that's going to give us extra HP. I mean, these are nice, um, nice leggings. Uh, 31K, got 18K on gauntlets. Uh, sorry, 18%. 32% on the helmet. And it just shows you like the difference between um, Epic Gear and Mythic is huge. Um, my advice would be early on, whenever you can, I would choose um, like Mythic Gear sets. I mean, I'd, like we've got a broken set as well. The stats are more important than the gear sets, in my opinion. And I'll just quickly show you, if you go replace and we go filter, got rare elite epic mythic mythic gear is the red gear and it's just so so much better it's a huge huge upgrade and then that's the rest of the gear so total stats we've got 164k hp um, and then damage reduction at 14.4 percent and then 487 defense uh car is so obviously a damage dealer so we've got hero which is um a two-piece set it's going to increase our attack by 15 percent and we've only got three pieces so we're not getting um 30 percent we're only getting that 15 percent and then we've got sun signet which is um, a two-piece set again which is going to increase our crit rate by 15 percent i'd rather have four pieces of um sun signet at the moment because the more crit rate you have, the more damage you're going to do. Um, I mean, even full, well, to balance things out, you do need a bit of attack. So I'd say four pieces Sun Signet and then two pieces Hero. Um, and then, yeah, crit rate on the gloves, really, really nice. And then and we've got some attack on the helmet as well. So 2K attack at 34% crit rate and then 2.8 crit damage, pretty low. But, um, you know, we're still early on in the game. That's going to jump up massively at some point. So Leo, um, again, uh, loves Vigorious. Sell him. Really, really good on him. We've got four pieces again and a broken set. Nice. Um, well, 13K on the, on, the, on the leggings. Not too great on his trousers. Um gauntlets we've got 32 uh, percent uh hp sorry guys just not with it wake up real deal wake up yeah i mean there's definitely some room in, for improvement here like the attack on here is not great for him he's not gonna benefit from that got a 83k hp um i'd love for him to have some crit rate i mean i'm sure his damage would be insane he does hit hard Bot Mark II has some pretty sick gear. It just needs to be upgraded. Um, I probably won't upgrade the chest piece, to be honest, but I will upgrade um, his trousers. His gloves um, are pretty insane. Like We've almost got 30% crit rate, and these gloves are going to bump that up massively. And then uh, pretty nice boots as well. So when these get ready as well, this will bump up that to probably about 2k maybe even 2.5k attack but that is going to increase our damage massively shame we've got no crit damage though because you know it's all all well having crit rate but without the crit damage it's not gonna do as much damage we like it to and then last but not least raven Na. and yeah she's in a much much better build a little bit on the low side of the crit rate but you know 25% means we're going to crit one in every four hits. So that's still pretty good. And yeah, decent, decent gear on her. Crit rate on the gloves is really, really nice at a low level. Later on, we're going to want to replace that with crit damage. But yeah, but yeah, really, really nice stats on her. Again, this will all massively increase as we progress in the game and start replacing our mythic gear for legendary gear. And um, that'll make a huge difference. And then obviously there's the immortal gear as well that will get further out, uh, further on in the game. Um, I really hope this video helps you guys out there. Um, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the video soon. Peace.